Back here at home tonight and to the Alabama man free for the first time in 30 years, wiping away tears, walking free after his conviction on capital murder charges was overturned. An emotional reunion with friends and family, and tonight you're about to hear his first words as he walked through those doors, aimed squarely at the investigators who put him behind bars all those years ago. ABC's Steve Osinsami tonight. This is the glorious moment that Anthony Hinton and his family prayed for. His first night as a free man after spending 30 long years locked up on Alabama's death row. They had every intention of executing me for something I didn't do. For all of us that say that we believe in justice, this is the case to start showing. Here he is, just 28 years old, sentenced to death for the murder of two restaurant managers in 1985. But new ballistics tests show there's no way the victims were killed by a gun found at his home, the key reason he was convicted. The relatives of those victims are upset by his release. And I want to say to the victim family, I will continue to pray for you just as I have for 30 years. A miscarriage of justice not only to me but to the victim family. So many times when these men are set free, most of them poor and African American, they talk about forgiving their accusers and prosecutors but not this time. All they had to do was test the gun. But when you think you high and mighty and you're above the law, you don't have to answer to nobody. But I got news for you. Everybody that played a part in sending me to death row, you will answer to God. Tonight, Hinton begins catching up on life, learning how to use his first cell phone and search the internet. David?